Okay, my family. This channel is for everyone who comes here. And most who have been following me for any period of time know that uh, I welcome everybody here. I know that some are ready to hear what is being said here. I know that some are still on the milk. And we have to wean them from the milk to the meat. And I know that some are sent here to cause division. But I have faith in God above that everybody he leads here is taking away something with them is taking away from this channel that we need to focus on Jesus Christ no matter what is coming that it's still not too late to be saved if we are an unbeliever if we are an atheist if we are a a worker in the in the enemy's army our adversary I believe that the Holy Spirit of God has led you here to this channel to know that God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son so that I won't, not only I might be saved but so that you might be saved as well This deal he gives to each and every one of us. He asks you this day to invite him into your heart. To ask him to lead you and guide you. To ask you, him to transform you from corruptible to incorruptible. In Jesus Christ's most holy, holy, holy name. Today is the day of salvation. Tomorrow is our election day in the United States of America and many people will be voting. I hope you all get out and vote and do whatever you must in order to um, get some free time to send in your ballot. I hope that uh, an important decision like this you ask the Holy Spirit of God to lead you. And I ask that the elections and everything that goes on tomorrow, that um, God would lead his people and that his will might be accomplished for our nation. In Jesus Christ's most holy, holy name. Father, we come before you sanctified and washed clean by the blood of our risen King and Savior, Jesus Christ. We ask to be led by your Holy Spirit and pray your will be done in your perfect timing. We come together as one body, united by our love of Jesus Christ, who is the head of our body. We lift up our brethren who are suffering with attacks from our adversary, and we cancel all assignments against them and their family members in Jesus Christ's mighty name. We break the chains that the enemy has ensnared us with. Our sword of truth, activated by the word of God, for it is written, no weapon formed against us shall prosper, and if God be for me, who can be against me? Glory to God in the highest, and praise his holy name, for he has equipped us and given us authority to trample upon the serpents and scorpions sent our way. He has made us more than conquerors in Christ Jesus, who strengthens us. We lift up our brethren and speak healing and peace upon their homes and family, the peace that only you can give us, Jesus. We speak restoration upon them for what the canker worm and locusts have taken from them. Your victory over the enemy and all things was won at the cross, and we thank you for paying our debt, a debt we can never repay, and we claim our body, the body of Christ, to be healed by your stripes. For we are one in spirit and body, united by our risen King. We thank you for never leaving us or forsaking us, and for being our strength when we are weak. We pray for our brethren to come together in prayer and faith, as we know that when we pray together as one, we can break strongholds, and move mountains that are hindering our walk with you. 
we humbly pray that you would hear our prayers and fill us to overflowing with your everlasting water and the word of God and then print it upon the tablets of our hearts and minds. And may the word of God forever dwell within us in Jesus Christ's most holy, holy, holy name. I pray your will be done in the elections tomorrow. And I know that no matter what may come, we are to focus on you. Trust in no man, trust in no woman, but put your full faith and trust in Jesus Christ, our risen King and Savior. Glory to God in the highest, for he alone is worthy of praise. I thank God for all those he sends to this channel. I thank God for all those that happen upon it. And I pray for all of you who are led to this channel. I pray that he would cover you with his precious blood and that he would cover you with the hedge of protection from the throne room of Father God around about you on all sides, above you and below you, around your families, around your places of work and worship, around your children and their schools and their activities, around your pets and your provisions. I pray that he would place this hedge of protection around you the same as he had around Job and his family. In Jesus Christ's most holy, holy, holy name. And I pray that all of you are safe tomorrow during election time and that he leads you. In all things, glory to God in the highest for he alone is worthy of praise. Glory to our risen King and Savior, in Jesus' name, amen.